I mean, obviously everybody knows that Tom was the coach that I was looking for. He's one of those few people that as he's got older, his voice tone has got richer, you know, and it's, it's one of those voices that you can just listen to and every sing, everything, every genre that he sings just works. We were always immensely grateful, you know, for Tom having that hit with the song that Dan wrote. I've been in love so many times, thought I knew the score. Now you've treated me so wrong, I can't take any more. And I wanted to meet him just to say thank you on the basis that, I mean, he released the song that Dad had written uh, and had it, you know, had released earlier on and not had the success with. But then Tom came along, it became a top 10 hit for him. And, um, and because of Tom, the song was also recorded by Elvis Presley. I mean, can you imagine that? And without Tom, that wouldn't have happened. No. Tom's one of those people that I really like for his stories as well. I mean, you watch him on The Voice and he's always got things like, you know, he's telling you a story about, you know, when he met the Queen, you know, when he was getting knighted or um, when he met the Queen, <laughs> when he was doing a Royal Command performance, uh, or Mike, meeting Michael Jackson, things like that, you know, so he's great, full of great stories. I mean, when we were recording um, the battle pairing, uh, you know, we're standing there and the cameras are all ready and he said, uh, he says, that's a nice belt. I said, oh, thanks. I used to have one like that. He had a story about how his was given to him by a rodeo rider in Texas um, as a gift, you know, and I was thinking, well, if you're gonna get a belt, that's definitely the way to get it, you know? <laughs> I mean, For anybody wondering, because I get these questions all the time, what was Tom Jones like backstage? He was what you see on camera. He was a great guy. There's one bit. Uh, where we're all lined up and they're kind of just filming our faces you know there's me and there's Dina and there's I and Anne and Cedric and Mike and meanwhile Tom is behind the camera going and we're keeping just supposed to be keeping straight faces you know so he was a good clown around too I like that but for Tom on a career note I think you have to look at immense respect I mean he's right up there I mean, anybody who can reinvent themselves through every era and every um, you know uh, genre change of popularity that has come through the years, and Tom has always been right there, and for that he deserves an immense amount of respect. Well, Make me your Superman